In early December, Rogers thought she was going on a double date with a professional basketball player and his girlfriend, 19-year-old Sakari Harnden, who was also an adult worker. Unfortunately for Rogers, who police said had come to Vegas on December 1, 2023, with another friend with the intent to engage in prostitution, she got into it with Harnden. The two women had a disagreement over a Rolex, according to police. During the confrontation, which took place in the Vegas area, Rogers threatened to smoke Harnden if she didn't give her the watch. Three days later, on December 4th, the women got into another fight, in which Harnden allegedly implicated Rogers' boyfriend in a double murder in California, which led to his arrest. According to police, that's when Harnden involved her boyfriend, 27-year-old Chance Comanche. They never before seen video and photos from the investigation into the murder of a woman allegedly killed by a former pro basketball player and his girlfriend. 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer joining us in the newsroom with that new evidence from the grand jury. The video we're about to see is of 23-year-old Marina Rogers right before she was kidnapped and buried in a Henderson neighborhood last December. These are the final moments of Morena Rogers' life, caught on surveillance video, now the center of the investigation into her two alleged murders. I want to make sure you understand and agree with that. 27-year-old Chance Comanche, a former NBA G League basketball player, and his girlfriend, 19-year-old Sakari Harnden, both facing murder charges. Police say Comanche and Harnden killed Rogers by strangling her and then burying her body. The photos from the grand jury showing a rocky, undeveloped lot near a suburban community near Gibson and Horizon Ridge, the scene where Rogers' body was found, covered in large rocks, eventually revealing Rogers, bloodied and stripped. Never before seen surveillance video showing Rogers with Harnden, both walking inside and out of a Las Vegas liquor store, Rogers dressed in a jean jacket and white pants. A Metro Police report shows Harnden and Rogers were both sex workers. Rogers thought she and Harnden were going on a double date to sell sex, but instead Comanche pretended to be the client. A security camera at a local grocery store showing Comanche and Harnden hours after the death of Rogers together. Metro detectives say Comanche confessed to the murder. Texts between Comanche and Harnden show a conversation before Rogers' death discussing how they should kill someone, asking if they would strangle her or use a knife and a baseball bat. And according to grand jury documents, Comanche had initially tried to find someone to kill her instead. Comanche was in Vegas because the Stockton Kings had a game at the Dollar Loan Center the following night. Plotting with Harnden, Comanche decided that Rogers had to go. Las Vegas police allege that to get rid of Rogers for good, Harnan and Comanche first tried to hire a hitman for $3,000, but decided to do the deed themselves via some deception. Police said that to lure her, Harnan promised Rogers a date with a chick who wanted to tie both of the girls up for some kinky sex. Moments later, police said that the trio drove to a cul-de-sac and tied Rogers up, where Harnan allegedly pressed her hands around Rogers and Comanche allegedly wrap an HDMI cord around her neck, straining her to Well, 27-year-old Chance Comanche and 19-year-old Sakari Harnden are accused of 23-year-old Mariana Rogers, covering her body with rocks and leaving it in a roadside ditch in Henderson. J1 Jung joining us in studio tonight with information about this case. J1. Joe, a Rolex watch and a third person played roles in this complicated murder scheme. That's according to testimony from a Metro homicide detective appearing before a Clark County grand jury. Detective Aaron Jenkins says a basketball friend of Comanche helped strategize the murder. Jenkins testified Comanche's friend Travion Carter backed out of the murder plot at some point, but told the grand jury Comanche and Harnden carried out the crime. He also testified Comanche told police the was over Harnden's Rolex watch that the victim, Marina Rogers, wanted. He told jurors Comanche claimed the victim threatened to shoot his ex-girlfriend Harnden if she didn't give her that Rolex. Evidence shown to the grand jury included text messages between Harnden and Comanche, which police say show them conspiring to kill Rogers. One text reading, quote, so we finna just take her there and then you finna strangle her. Both Rogers and Harnden were 
Jenkins says Comanche told him during an interview he posed as a client pretending to be into kinky sex as an excuse to use zip ties on the victim. Surveillance videos were also shown to the grand jury, which police say detail the timeline of events. In the first video, you can see Harnden and Rogers at a liquor store hours before the murder. The owner of the liquor store testified this was after one in the morning of December 6th. The second video shows Rogers and Comanche at Winco at around 530 in the morning. Another Metro detective testified this was shortly after Rogers. Comanche's friend Travion Carter currently does not face any charges related to Rogers. Harnden and Comanche were in court this morning for arraignment, but the proceeding was delayed because the case is under death penalty review, according to prosecutors. The pair is scheduled to be back in court March 28th.